Um, some of the blocks, if you'll notice, there's this little gap, and, uh, and you'll see the bottom of it there. There's the top of the next one. There's the bottom of it. That's, this is, that's what you're seeing is with this right here. You're seeing that outline of that black part. Can you see that? See how that looks? Okay. You're looking at that right there, that flat part. That gap right here is clear all the way back to the concrete. This would be concrete, not drywall, because this would be an ICF wall. So that would be a clear gap that you can channel through without ever having to hit, and this is key, gentlemen, you don't want to hit these. Okay? You don't want to have to cut through any of the furring strips in any of the ICF blocks, because they're all different. But they're all usually polystyrene, which is a high-impact plastic, very difficult, hard to keep your blades clean, hard to keep your blades sharp, or it's steel. And there's some blocks out there that have a 22-25 gauge piece of steel in there that you've got to cut through. So avoid that at all costs. Um, and so what you want to do is, once you find out where these furring strips, because for the electrician, the critical thing for you guys is where are these furring strips located? And how are they playing into your wiring uh, layout? So what we've done is what you try and do is you have a couple different boxes. 